When I first moved to New York, I was told by my parents to bite my tongue. Because for some reason, everyone in America seems to think they're Irish. Oh my god, my granny was 10% Irish. Oh my god, my great ancestors were Irish. Oh my god, my dad's best friend is Irish. So I'm Irish. But why does everyone want to be Irish? We have a few sheep, we have a few cows, we have a few tractors. Bing bada boom, you're in Ireland. Also, I would just like to clarify that in no way, shape, or form do we Irish people greet each other by saying top of the morning to you. Can people please stop saying that to me because honestly, I'm not saying it back. But the next thing I have people saying, oh my God, can you speak Gaelic? First of all, it's Irish and frankly, nobody knows how to speak it. We've been learning that language for years and honestly, we just guess it. Then there's this whole misconception about St. Patrick's Day. First off, it's not St. Patty or St. Paddy it's St. Patrick's Day. We go to Mass, we light a candle, we spend the rest of the day drinking in a local pub. But now that I think about it, that's what we do every day. But I can promise you, we are not a bunch of drunks. Finally, my last point, potatoes. Now this is actually true. Yes, we live off potatoes. Roasted, boiled, garlic, cheese, baked, you name it, we got it. I'm yet to find a good potato in America, but it's okay because Thanksgiving is coming and I'm sure I'll find one then. In the words of my country, on your Saturday, Gurk Mahoga and Son Leave, meaning I'm on your hurricane. Thank you and good night.